Thank you. Tonight, though, several residents in Kannapolis are still waiting to get into their homes tonight after heavy rainfall flooded their neighborhood. And now many of them say they just aren't getting enough answers from the city of Kannapolis or Cabarrus County. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson is joining us live from Kannapolis. And Lexi, you've been asking questions about what's holding up these folks from getting back into their homes. Well, residents are being told they cannot enter their homes until an inspection is completed. But within the last hour, the fire department has actually come through and given families this letter that says they will be opening up a temporary shelter. Still, residents here say they don't know what their future will look like. Duke Energy turning off the power to at least 12 homes Thursday after Irish Buffalo Creek spilled into town in Country Mobile Home Park on Tiffany Drive. I got kids. That's what I'm worried about. Residents given notices saying they can't enter their homes until an inspection is completed. A look at Cabarrus County Deeds shows an LLC based out of Tennessee owns the land under the Mobile Home Park. Residents say they haven't been able to get a hold of the property owners, city or county officials. We want answers. And not just myself, but everybody here. There's a lot of other families that are affected by this too. Now there's a lot of questions like who will pay for the damage and what happens if residents can no longer live in their homes. All questions I've asked the city of Kannapolis and have gotten no response. Property insurance experts say local government plays a critical role in flood risk management and can condemn the land. If their mobile home or, or house is sitting in a floodplain, uh, you, you don't want them dying because they thought it was safe enough. But unfortunately, situations like this happen more often than we think. Unfortunately, uh, people will buy uh, land uh, where there's floodplains and put in low income housing, rent them out to people that probably can't afford other housing somewhere else. And they just take the risk because they buy these mobile homes for five, ten thousand dollars and if it floods out, they can fix it up cheap or even if they lose the whole thing, it really doesn't cost them that much. And a concern a lot of the residents here had was if the shelter could hold their pets too. I'm told it doesn't look like the shelter tonight will be able to hold their pets, but they are looking for a solution to accommodate the pets for the future. Reporting in Kannapolis for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson. Yeah, frustrating situation. Hopefully all things get back to normal for those folks there. Lexi, thank you.